Travis Wingard Cell. I am reminded by a comment overnight that I must again remind my new viewers that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has ordered my assassination for the content of my YouTube videos. <clears throat> this is why the YouTube Mormon employee, when he starts his shift, goes back over the videos he missed and puts a thumbs down on them. And then when I post a video during his shift, yeah, he tempers with the video upload. Whether freezing the upload, whether slowing down the processing by freezing it, or redoing it over and over and over again, or slowing it down. This is cyber terrorism, and apparently he doesn't care because he doesn't get in trouble by his bosses. He just retaliates against me, and he purposely screws up the algorithm so that very few of you will see my videos, and thus he thinks he's protecting the great and abominable Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I have warned you <clears throat> that the deeper you are brainwashed by the church, the greater will be your faith crisis when you are compelled to believe. It is coming. And whether today is a, just another sign in the heavens without a likeness of the things on the earth, I don't know. I just see the signs in the heavens. So understand, the fan is because of the assassination attempt on my life. <clears throat> so last night, I uh, checked the signs in the heavens, and when, uh, uh, this time though, when I checked, see I already knew that the moon was going to be at the tail of the goat beast constellation, Capricorn, and I already knew that Venus and Saturn were there in conjunction. I already knew that Mars is in the belly of the beast, and that triggered in my mind search for belly of beast in the scriptures so I pulled out my computer program and belly of the beast came up as it should still be yep <coughs> three passages and one of which is in Genesis the other of which is in selections from the book of Moses wonder why. Joseph Smith translation. <clears throat> and so either one, it's the same exact wording as I'm quickly scanning. Uh, oh, yeah. He changes it to he. Uh, but otherwise it's exactly the same. So Moses chapter 4 verses 20 and 21. I'll get to the sign in the heavens after I discuss the history and the significance of this day that is upon us. Because I jacked, and sure enough, holy crap. <laughs> Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles. <clears throat> this is an awesome play. I saw it on my mission. And I, the Lord God, said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou shalt be cursed above all cattle. What? In the creation, serpents were separated from cattle. Huh. So the serpent is cattle. Attention. Remember? Goat beast. What 
beast? <laughs> sea serpent. <laughs> and above every beast of the field. <laughs> Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. Mars, the god of war, is in the belly of the beast. For those of you who are new, when Thomas S. Monson died, Nelson automatically assumes the position, even though they have to wait for the official laying on of hands and such, and then the conference where they sustain him. The way Brigham Young set up his administration, which was different from Joseph Smith's, if you're new, the church knows they're wrong and fraudulent and false. Did the Bushman video yesterday. <clears throat> he knows. And the church knows because he knows. Because the church put him in charge of the Joseph Smith Papers Project. Despite his rough stone rolling. Which is crap. <laughs> because of the comments he makes. <laughs> Dear God. <clears throat> and so on that night, which was a fulfillment of Revelation chapter 12 verse 4 we need to go to this don't we uh, but let's finish up uh, Moses 4 21 and I will put enmity between thee and the woman between thy seed and her seed save two churches church of the devil church of the lamb the false Christ true Christ and dust or, uh, let's see and he shall bruise thy head yeah that's conquering <laughs> thou shall bruise his heel that's Achilles um, I forgot where I was going to go. <laughs> Don't have this written down. Thank you. <laughs> Revelation chapter 12. <clears throat> and so in case you're confused... Mormons are after the learning of the Jews. All this is the learning of the Jews. Even Revelation is the learning of the Jews. These are all apocalyptic literature. It's not a literal serpent. Though, yes, it comes from the Egyptian documents, and yes, they had walking snakes too. And if you don't know, we even have it in our scriptures. Church refuses to publish it. It only publishes facsimile number two's incorporation of that document into the missing portion of that fact, the hypocephalus. It's book of Joseph. And so, yes, we have the Joseph Smith translation of Extra Words of Joseph, and we have the Book of Mormon, 2 Nephi chapter 3. Lehi talks more about Joseph and about Joseph Smith and about the man like Moses, the learning of the Jews. And Joseph Smith, in his history in 1838, says, that man is the Christ, the man like Moses the son of man 
burning of the Jews. This is why the church wants me dead, guys, for the content of my video. <clears throat> so, verse 4 in Revelation 12. And his tail, whose tail? The dragon's tail, drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. I'm finding out that this has multiple fulfillments. Well, at least sign fulfillments. <laughs> because this occurred <coughs> on Monson's death night at 10.01 p.m. The quadranted meteor showers, the third largest meteor showers of the year, were going on. And Monson dies. And Nelson takes over as the judge of Israel. And the scales of judgment are Libra. And so the judge of the scales of judgment is the top of the scales of judgment. This comes from the Egyptian documents. Ma'at. She's personified as a female who's marrying the prince of Egypt in fact family number three and there's an error there they put the prince as the bride and the bride as the prince it's a wedding who's wedding who's on the throne which dynasty is Joseph Smith referring to by calling Pharaoh a woman. Which dynasty, Egyptologists? What's going on there? <clears throat> and so yes, Mars was at the top of the scales of Libra, the god of war. Nelson took over automatically according to Brigham Young's rules as the leader of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Mars is Russell M. Nelson. Joseph Smith translation, Revelation 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great sign in heaven, and this is what was added, in the likeness of things on the earth. So, the sign in the heavens on Monson's death night, the likeness of things on the earth was Monson dies. Nelson takes over. That simple, not complicated. You just got to make sure you get the right signs correctly interpreted after the understanding of the ancients, not modern psychos. Astrotheologists. So, by the way, in case you're wondering, if you're new, 23rd September 2017 for that sign. And then the dragon sign, uh, which now gets merged with verse uh, 4, is verse 3, because Joseph Smith's translation moves verse 5 to verse 3, because that is part of the sign on that 23rd September 2017. That's Saturn in Ophiuchus constellation. Ophiuchus is the one battling the serpent. Again, you have to understand all of this. <clears throat> and not a single Mormon does. And that's why the church wants me assassinated. Because I know this stuff. And so the sign of the great red dragon. Seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns on his head. The fifth dark day of Hanukkah, 17 December 2017. And then the third part of the stars from heaven did cast to the earth, Monson's death night, 2nd January 2018. But, the sign in the heavens is very interesting for today. I guess we should cover it, and then get to the big bombshell. Have it up on the screen for me. 
Do you remember the 21st of September in the 1830-23? Nephi comes to Joseph Smith, not Moroni. <coughs> and so, the sign in the heavens is the goat beast, half sea serpent, half cattle. That's small cattle. Goats, sheep, are small cattle. <coughs> and there you have, at the tail of the goat beast, the sea serpent, cattle, you see the Venus and Saturn at the tail. You see the moon. And uh, it should be rising in about four hours, according to my Stellarium, three or four hours, somewhere around there. Had to, uh, oh, no, well, it says 8.24 in the morning here in, in West Valley City. I don't know if you're able to zoom in to see what the small print is, but, but yeah, Venus is on the top. Saturn is on the bottom, and that references back to the creation, and that references to the garden. Lilith, the wife of Adam, wanted to be on top. See, again, there's a whole bunch of information you're missing if you're not a regular and if you're brand new, because YouTube will not allow you to see me prior to this. <coughs> And so as it's conference week, yeah, I'm already starting to see the conference videos picking up. We got a major uh, one after Oscars last night. It's like Mormons watched the Oscars and then went straight to social media searching for a conference. <laughs> you guys are weird. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's conference time. This is why they shut down my channel, Travis Wayne Goodsell, my full name. Because the church does not want you to see my videos. They knew I would come up with videos for conference. They knew that I would, I figured out the war. They knew, and they don't want you to know, and they were frustrated that they can't get me assassinated quick enough. Everybody's failing. Even though they've destroyed me, I'm still living on. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh, he's getting the club and knocking me unconscious. <sighs> Honey Python and the Holy Grail. That's what this is all about, guys. It's about the Holy Grail. The blood line. The sacrament blood. It's about the blood line. It's not Jesus. Seed of Messiah, the blood, the mortal man, learning of the Jews. <clears throat> and so, as it's the 25th day, I thought, huh, let, let's check out the 25th day of the Jews. Twenty-fifth of Adar, which there was only one Adar back then, in uh, 561 BCE. You can go to the Jewish calendar. I prefer cgsf.org, <coughs> and then slash d uh, b e a t t i e slash calendar slash uh, questions Roman. <coughs> And then you can type in uh, 
the Roman year, or if you know the Hebrew calendar and put in the Hebrew year. And so for 561 BCE, you have to type in negative 560 because there's no zero here. The program has a zero in it. And you need to understand that. So even in the Stellarium, I have to understand there is a zero year because of the program requirements. But the calendar does not have a zero year. And so 1 BCE is zero in your Stellarium and is on the Jewish calendar here. <coughs> And so, why 561 BCE? What happened on the 25th of Adar? Which was a Thursday. Oh, uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Thursday, March 25th, Thursday. What happened? Oh, no, wait, no. 25th is on a Thursday, but it's the first of April. That's Friday, by the way, but in their calendar, the 25th of Adar was April Fool's Day. <laughs> I'm sure they practiced April Fool's. <laughs> Nelson gave a conference talk on April Fool's. Let's talk. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Whoops. That April Fool's conference talk was Sunday. 2018, when Nelson gets up on a solemn assembly and announces that he's been working with the Russians and he paid them money for a temple that has yet to be seen. Oh, wait, he must have used the money for the War of Armageddon. Which, because it's the book of Revelation, it's coded. They're not real beasts, dragons, flying horses, frogs, Jesus, Armageddon, etc. Jerusalem. Those are codes. Ezekiel chapter 38. Son of man, Gog and Magog battle. It's Russia. And the Catholics, the Pope, has freaked out because of the war. And if you don't know, because of the sisters of Fatima and their prophecy by the Virgin Mary who appeared to them and the Catholic Church calls them saints because of what they were told and it was sister uh, Lucia who survived to tell us that she names Russia So, you're wondering why President Biden is hesitant to help militarily the Ukrainians? Do you understand why Putin is being so brazen in crossing all the red lines that they keep making and then keep breaking and create new red lines for Putin to cross? They all know. This is the war. Ezekiel, chapter 38, chapter heading by Bruce R. McConkie. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints knows. And they paid Russia to start this war. They paid Russia for nukes. Why? Because the church was pissed at me that I exposed this. But it wasn't me. All I did was read the words of the prophets. For that exposure, they shut me down on Travis Wayne Goodsell. 
before the war and made it three months. I cannot do videos on that channel until April 21st, after conference even. After the war, after conference, and the church ordered YouTube to shut that channel down. I get this channel, and it's conference week. And today, there's a sign in the heavens. The church are the enemy. They paid for the war. So Mars, the god of war, is the betrayer of Mormons who paid the blood money, the Judas money, the Judah money. I wonder if they paid him in silver with your tithing. And I knew that when he gave it on April 1st. Let's check. Uh, April 1st, 2018. <clears throat> this is how you do research, guys, in case you didn't know. <clears throat> so going to the Jewish calendar. Type in 2018 and 1st of April is no 16th of Nissan. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, yeah, it's because of 2nd uh, Hagar that we're this far into it. Nothing for that. <clears throat> and so, yes, I've been following Nelson all these years, doing videos as occasion would often permit. So, what happened in 561 BCE? You're not getting a, to the answer, Travis. You're teasing us. Stop it. You're mean. I'm not listening anymore. I'm not enduring to the end of your videos. <clears throat> we'll refer to the Book of Mormonski. That's the Russian. <laughs> you just put ski at the end of everything. <clears throat> so verse 2 learning of the Jews, language of the Egyptians. Verse 4. For it came to pass in the commencement of the first year of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah. Okay, whatever. B takes us to 2 Kings chapter 24 verse 18, 2 Chronicles 36 10, Jeremiah 37 1, Jeremiah 44 30, Jeremiah 49 34, Jeremiah 52 3 through 5, and Omni. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here. Well, we have 2 Kings 24, 18. Zedekiah was 21 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. So, the Zedekiah married into Jeremiah's family. Huh. That's interesting. So, the learning of the Jews says he's a descendant of King David. Jeremiah is a descendant of King David. Jeremiah married into Zedekiah. For King David. Huh. So, 
checking Chronicles 36.10. And when the year was expired, King Nebuchadnezzar sent and brought him to Babylon with the goodly vessels of the house of the Lord and made Zedekiah his brother king over Judah and Jerusalem. Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign. Zedekiah is the brother of Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar made Zedekiah the king of Jerusalem. And he married the daughter of Jeremiah, a descendant of King David. Huh. Interesting. But if you don't go through your footnotes, that verse means nothing to you. He's the puppet king, put on by Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. And so, what is significant about the 25th of Adar? 561 BCE, which is today, right now, the 25th of Adar. <clears throat> the death of Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon. <clears throat> Isaiah 21 verse 9 Babylon is fallen is fallen. Babylon or Jeremiah fifty one verse eight. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Jeremiah 51, verse 44, And I will punish Bel in Babylon, and the wall of Babylon shall fall. Jeremiah 51, 49, As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Revelation, chapter 14, verse 8. And remember, it's not Babylon. He's referring to the actual literal history, using that as his code for the latter days. Another angel, another, um, and there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city because she hath made the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. <clears throat> Revelation 16, verse 19. And the great city was divided into three parts. Three 
third part of the stars fell from heaven, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God. Revelation 18, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. Doctrine and Covenants. Joseph Smith knows. <laughs> Section 1, verse 16. Oh, it's the preface to the whole Doctrine and Covenants. Isn't that a coincidence? <coughs> shall perish in Babylon, even Babylon the great, which shall fall. I thought the church said that they decoded all of the coded words in the Doctrine and Covenants for the 1981 edition of our triple, our, you know, our triple, but Doctrine and Covenants. I, 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 I they missed one? Just one? And they missed a lot more than one, as I've done the videos, for which the church wants me assassinated. They do not want you to know of the other missed words that are still coded. <clears throat> and then section 86, verse 3, After they have fallen asleep, the great persecutor of the church, the apostate, the whore, even Babylon. That's what I was going to get to in verse 1, or section 1, verse 16. This is the great and abominable church, guys. Because it's talking about the people have strayed from mine ordinances and have broken mine everlasting covenant, and therefore they're going to perish in Babylon. They're going to perish in the great and abominable church. There are saved two churches. Great and abundant church, church of the Lamb. I told you why it's the Lamb. And have a big old barbecue on Monday after conference weekend 2024. <laughs> Continue on, that maketh all nations to drink of her cup, in whose hearts the enemy, even Satan, sitteth to reign. Great Mumble Church. Behold, he soweth the tares, wherefore the tares choke the wheat, and drive the church into the wilderness. Behold, in the last days. We need to read more of this. <clears throat> Even now, while the Lord is beginning to bring forth the word, and the blade is springing up and is yet tender, behold, I verily I say unto you, the angels are crying unto the Lord day and night, who are ready and waiting to be sent forth to reap down the fields. Guess what? This is it. This is it. This is the chance of life. This is it. Who sings that? find out. We have the technology. We have the capability to build the first bionic man. Steve Austin, Lee Majors. This is it. Da, 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 da. This is it. Kenny Loggins. That's it. This is it. Kenny Loggins. <clears throat> Kenny Loggins. Hold on a second while I take care of some personal business.
so yeah you seeing the the sign in the heavens for today seeing how the scriptures are prophesying for today and now do you understand my frustration for today <laughs> we have had sign after sign after sign after sign we went through a whole week of signs countdown to the fulfillment of the thioth <laughs> nothing all last year I postponed that you guys owe me they did not want people to know my content they needed to show that I was wrong Joseph Smith knew day that shall burn as an oven 21st of September, 22nd of September, four years later. <sighs> and so, uh, yeah, the death comes from Jeremiah chapter 52, verse 31. And it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiachin, king or Jehoiakim, king of Judah. And Judah is phonetically the same as Utah, by the way. In the twelfth month, in the five and twentieth day of the month, Adar. In the uh, one calendar versus the other, there's a religious calendar and a civil calendar. And uh, so it's, I think it's the religious calendar. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, I'm not going to look it up. Just understand that it's the specific calendar here. <clears throat> In the five and twentieth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Jehoiachin, Jehoiachin, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison. And the prisoners will be released. That's scriptural prophecy for the latter days. And if you didn't know, yeah, Babylon has to fall as part of the signs of the heaven, or signs for the latter days. So sorry, Mormons. You chose wrong. The Holy Grail is you chose wrong. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, you chose wrong. <coughs> um, Oh yeah, prisoners released. <laughs> Verse 22 of section 128. Learning of the Jews. Brethren, shall we not go on in such so great a cause? Go forward, not backward. Courage, brethren, and on, on to the victory. Let your hearts rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Let the earth break forth into singing. Let the dead speak forth anthems of eternal praise to the King Emmanuel. Notice it's not Jesus who hath ordained before the world was, that which would enable us to redeem them out of their prison. For the prisoners shall go free. And if you're wondering, evil Merdok? Yeah, well, you need to go to the link. It's not evil. But it is Marduk. 
you're right on that. Wow, that, I'm impressed you knew that that was Marduk. Right? You knew that was Marduk. <laughs> the actual name is Amel Marduk. It means son of, or man of Marduk. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, they uh, use, uh, huh, yeah, they transliterate Marduk, but, dear God, what are you thinking with Amel? We don't even have the M here. That's weird. Why did you put that? It's got to be an error. <clears throat> but nonetheless, yeah, he was a successor after uh, Nebuchadnezzar died. Automatically, he takes over and frees the true king. which technically it was because Zedekiah was replaced but you know usurpation that's the theme birthright blessing getting usurped and then the true successor usurps the birthright blessing from the usurper of the birthright and the blessing to restore the original so Joseph Smith assassinated and thus usurped and the usurper usurped the birthright blessing from Joseph Smith to form the great and abominable church which is patterned and imitated after Joseph Smith's church but is completely different but they still claim him as the founder even though they usurped it and changed it they turned Joseph Smith into a Christian rather than a learning of the Jews <coughs> can't catch on to who I'm talking about, then you're not going to 19 July 1840. I had to link it to the guy. Oh my god. Also, got that comment. Overnight. Oh my god. Do you guys not know how to Google search? You Google search to find my <laughs> videos on conference or YouTube searched. Why can't you do this? Why do you demand to see the evidence? Just look it up, dear God. So, yeah, fun times. Uh, so, I uh, also was thinking while I was running this morning, I wonder what day... Constantine died. That would be hilarious if it was the same day as Nebuchadnezzar. It's not. Constantine died 22nd of May, 337. And so, 12 years after his abomination in the sight of God. Joseph Smith History, First Vision. Don't join Christianity. Don't start your own Christian church. Jesus is not our Christ because that creed, the first of all creeds, is an abomination. Jesus was selected from all the apocalyptic heroes and heroines. Chose Jesus, the name Jesus which is the reverse of Isaiah, which Matthew <laughs> Dear God, Matthew. <clears throat> it's just, if you wanted to make it a story about a guy named Jesus, you don't need to reference incorrectly the prophecy. Just tell the story like Samson. Samson is a sun king, and so we are supposed to understand by reading the original text, oh, Samson has the name sun in it, and the N, which is a suffix determinative, if we understood Paleo-Hebrew, 
from Travis Wayne Goodsell, who, you know, deciphered it after it went extinct. The fall of Babylon. Fall from Babylon. Or by Babylon. Assimilating Paleo Hebrew into Semitic, becoming Semitic Hebrew, among everything else of the Jews. Despite the book of Daniel saying, don't become assimilated into the Babylonian culture. And this was during the Roman culture, so it was sort of telling the Jews not to assimilate into the Roman culture. <clears throat> Nonetheless, they got assimilated by Babylon. That's the calendar is Babylon's calendar. The language the language calendar. So, 22nd <clears throat> of May, 33-7. Assuming I didn't forget anything. 22nd of May is gotta scroll up. What's up with that? 22nd of May is oh, that's why. The 6th of Sivan. The 6th of Sivan is the festival of weeks for the Jews. The festival of weeks for the Jews is known as Shavuot. It is the Festival of Weeks. It occurs on the sixth day of the Hebrew month, Savan. Uh, it marks the wheat harvest. Because wheat has different than barley. Uh, it's also the date when Moses gave Israel the law, the Torah, on Mount Sinai. After when? The Exodus. Yeah. And so this was when they, it's also the counting, conclusion of the counting of Omar, directly linked to the Passover because they needed to make a counting of the people when they were freed from their enslavement to Pharaoh. And then are given the Torah. So it has a connection. Mormons need to be freed first. Isn't that interesting? And so I think we got it. This is the one elusive thing that I've been telling you about. <clears throat> All the other signs and the fulfillment on earth have happened. Except for this. And it's been frustrating me, it's been worrying me, because the church is trying to assassinate me. They've succeeded in destroying me. But I'm not dead yet. And so, yeah, today is the day of the sign in the heavens. <laughs> Another sign in the heavens. But yes, without the fall, Mormons cannot be freed. And I did the video early. Because <laughs> conference is supposed to be about the exodus. So they bumped it up to the next week after. Sort of. They can skip it. That's, oh, that is lame. Did they, oh, we've got to check this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please tell me they did not skip this lesson because of conference. And leave it up to the wards to decide if they're going to bump it up to the next week after. Do you remember? Oh, they did. Oh, you bastards. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, they're purposely, that's the lesson for that week. And so it's scheduled for the week after conference, April 10th, that it's now Exodus 14 through 17. They purposely skipped the Exodus. Those bastards. Oof. Bastards, bastards, bastards. And they threw in an Easter thing. Dear God. They should have had conference for that week. And then for 4 to 10, Exodus 7, 13 for the Exodus. Bastards. And then take out Easter and put the Exodus 14 through 17 in its place. And then we can continue on as normal. So yeah, I was inspired. Watch the video. Uh, let's take you to the title of the video. It has LDS Sunday School lesson. Uh, I did not. I yeah, it's the series. I, it was a four-part video series. Dear God, that was intense. Oh, okay. So I need to check you out later. Uh, oops, it's on the home page. My Mormon journey. Yeah, Man Like Moses Exodus series. LDS Sunday School lesson introduction, Man Like Moses. LDS Sunday School lesson chapter 7, Man Like Moses. LDS Sunday School lesson chapters 8 to 10, Man Like Moses. See a pattern? LDS Sunday School lesson chapters 11 to 13, Man Like Moses. Nobody liked it. Nobody caught it. Except for the one guy I emailed it to. <laughs> it's so cute. You've got a lamb and the Holy Grail on the sacrament tray. Dear God, what does it take to get through to you people? <laughs> So I think we're we're done. And that's the that's the danger, guys. I've been trying to warn you. The church has a a a, a, a a murder event planned for conference. Let alone the war with the bombing of all the world. The day that shall burn as an oven. I'm trying to save your lives but how easy it is to mock the church, mock evil people. You cannot be good by doing bad. And Mormons will not learn that lesson because they're learning from the prophets who are not teaching the proper lesson of love. So, alrighty.